Hello everyone, welcome back. We've got a quick trade to discuss. In today's video, we're looking at a trade that just happened between the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Winnipeg Jets. We'll discuss the details of this deal coming up right now. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here at the Nintendo Hockey Channel. Before we get into this video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe down below. Thank you for your support. We're now also you guys, so if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe button down below and don't forget to comment down in the comment section below so we can all discuss today's video. Now, in this video, we've got a small trade to discuss. It was an interesting one involving two former high-level prospects between the Penguins and the Jets. The trade is as follows. Rugger McGrady, who's been in trades uh, speculations for the entirety of the offseason, has been dealt to the Pittsburgh Penguins in exchange for a young prospects prospect Braden Yeager. So this is an interesting move there for both sides. They feel like the Jets, uh, they finally move off from McGrady. They need to do that. Uh, it was getting an ugly situation. Uh, they didn't really want that to try to go too much further and get into like an in-season distraction. So good to see that they were finally able to move off from him. Uh, they get Braden Yeager in return. Yeager is in the first year right now of a three-year ELC with AV of $950,000. He was the 14th overall pick in the 2023 draft. So not this past year's draft, but the year priors. Once again, high level player, 14th overall. So he looks like a pretty good prospect. We've been playing in Moose Jaw over the past couple of years. Two seasons ago, uh, put up 28 goals and 78 points in 67 WHL games. Looked pretty good. This past year, put up 35 goals and 95 points in 57 games. So looks pretty good. I think he was, uh, for a time at least, a teammate with Colby Barlow, who was a recent pick of the Winnipeg Jets as well. So that's also good news. Jaeger, I think, Still has middle six potential, really good uh, versatile player, can play center, can play wing. Uh, so I think this is a really good pickup there for the Jets. As much as they do lose McGrady, I think Jaeger's a fantastic pickup in my opinion for the Winnipeg Jets. And I think long term we should be able to fit in like the middle six, maybe even the top six guys like Connor and Shifley. So interesting stuff there, but it's a pretty good pickup there for the Jets to get Jaeger in this deal. Meanwhile, for the Pittsburgh Penguins, uh, they get Rekha McGrady. McGrady is the center, can play wing if necessary. He was the 14th overall pick in the 2022 draft. So he's a year earlier, but in the same spot as uh, Jaeger was, 14th overall in the first round. Uh, this past year, playing the NCAA over the past couple of seasons, two years ago, put up 18 goals and 39 points in 39 NCAA games. This past year, put up 16 goals and 52 points in 36 NCAA games. So he looks pretty good. It seemed like he wanted to get to the NHL level this year. Just said to uh, play in the AHL, sort of work his way up. He didn't want that. He wanted an NHL role right away. So it seemed like he really wanted to just get straight to the NHL. It sounded like he was not wanting to play the AHL level, uh, so the Jets weren't really willing to do that. On top of that, there was some concern after the, the development of Perfetti and Hainala that maybe if McGrady didn't want to uh, be developed by the Jets, so uh, it was a long stalemate. He wasn't going to sign with the Jets unless he was promised a top to six role. The Jets weren't going to promise that, so he gets moved uh, in Pittsburgh. He also signs a new extension after this deal. Signs a three-year ELC with the Penguins with the AV of $950,000. So interesting pickup there. So right after this deal, signs his DLC. Most likely, my guess would be he gets a middle six role at the NHL level this year with the Penguins. Given the fact of what he was wanting, my guess would be that's the only way this deal winds up happening. So interesting pickup there for the Penguins, but that's a solid player. And if he can really produce well and like a middle six role, that could be a really good fit there for the Penguins. So in my opinion, decent trade for both sides. I think that the Penguins had the higher upside player in McGrady, but I do think Jaeger's going to be a really good player. So I think with the both players being taken 14th overall, overall in the 2022 and 2023 draft. I think it's really hard to determine a winner at this point. It might just be a Jets given the fact they're able to get the McGrady situation out of their heads now, but I think this could be a really good swap for both sides. So interesting move there. Right now I'd say probably the Penguins win it because of McGrady's upside, but maybe the Jets win it because they are able to get out of this McGrady situation. So interesting stuff there, but left your guys thoughts on all this down in the comment section below. Who do you think won this deal? Was it the Penguins? Was it the Jets? Left your guys thoughts on all this down in the comment section below. That's all I'm going to talk about for today. Until this video, if you like to subscribe down below, thank you for your support. We're going to help you guys. So, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe button down below. Don't forget to comment down in the comment section below. So, I'll discuss today's video. Also, a blog to want news, rumors, analysis. So, if that's something, check that out. Leave a link in the description below. And, can I see you guys all for the next video? See you guys soon.